Hey everyone, it's Angler. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today will be the conclusion of the Forgotten Seasons, a Creation Club mod for a Skyrim Special Edition. And we previously explored the two zones, and the only thing that is left for us to explore is the Winter Biome and the Autumn Zone. And as you can see here, I decided to go with Winter first because why not? Winter time has always been my favorite. And I'm really excited to see what these areas hold because. I remember the previous ones, there was a lot of traps, some puzzles, some really tough enemies to fight, and I'm expecting the next two areas to be exactly the same. So let's just see what is in store for us. I'm actually really excited, and I think I'm pretty close to being done with this mod and just seeing what it has to offer. And honestly, so far, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed it, actually, because I've taken my time and fully explored, like, a lot of areas looking in every little corner every little place trying to make double triple sure that i didn't forget anything because a lot of times in these type of areas you always tend to leave something behind well at least in my case that is and i want to make sure to enjoy my 1200 uh todd buck experience to the fullest okay so there's only a couple little jorvan spiders right here and one of the things that i did notice is my companion did not follow me here i wonder if that's on purpose and it makes me wonder what type of things we'll be fighting hopefully you know nothing too strong i guess because i kind of rely on my companion and even though my uh expertise with the bow is pretty solid i still feel like i can always use a companion for a backup okay so let's see here and honestly i've still been looking at the floor expecting traps to pop up at any time okay. because you know for real we're in dwarven ruins here and that's something you kind of expect I'm always looking at the ground, seeing what's going to pop up at me. And so far here, it's just been a couple of uh, Jorvan spiders. Nothing, you know, we can't handle. So maybe that's why the mod authors left it like this, because, you know, there wasn't too much to battle here so far. And I do like the way you have to jump down and kind of look around your surroundings underwater. You have to see where to go. I do like that part. It kind of reminds me of that one dungeon in ES, so I haven't played in so long. I just I forgot the name of it, but... Kind of reminds me of that. Anyways, let's continue forward and see what lovely monsters we have ahead of us. All right, we have an Ice Wraith, which I remember when I first started playing and started out in the Winter Biome in Skyrim, they really killed me. And then this Flame Atronach, just, not Flame, pardon me, the Ice, obviously, um, or Frost, just came out of nowhere. And quite a few of my arrows missed. I was actually really surprised. I was shooting, like, right at him, and they're just, like, going through him. So I'm like, okay. I know my shooting's bad, but I don't think it's that bad. And then, there really wasn't much to this uh, area, as you can see here. All I did was just go up, pretty much like a spiral staircase. I got to the top, and there it was. And that's pretty much it for the zone. There wasn't really, you know, anything too overwhelming. So now, we have the autumn zone left. And honestly, when I walked right in, it kind of reminded me of the summer zone. But, you know, of course, it gave you that autumn feel. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what's inside here because the winter place, well, it was a little bit lackluster to be quite honest. All right, so let's exactly see what we have going on here. Oh, I really do like the way this place looks. I really do, honestly. I said it once before. I'll say it again about this place. If this was actually a player home we could live in, I would definitely buy this from the Creation Club. I would, I'm not going to lie. I'd drop probably like $5 on it or 500 Todd Bucks. Okay, so let's see here. Um, just making sure there's nothing in this corner. Oh, this place is really big. All right. So we had to find different types of wheat and place them in the depositories. Okay, so I'm not for sure exactly what type of wheat we are looking for here. So we're just going to have to go around this big room. I'm just going to make like a big circle here and make sure not to miss anything because... This is one of those type of areas where I feel I can miss a lot of things just because of how large it is. And I'm surprised my arrow didn't kill him the first time. On So, all right, let's see here. I want to make double sure here. We got to gather the wheat and then disable. Okay, so that's going to be really interesting. Let's see what you have on you. Huh, you have wheat on you. So I'm just going to actually loot this wheat just because i don't know if it's like just plain wheat or a special type of wheat i really don't know what to expect here i didn't look up anything because i fully want to experience this uh mod for myself and you know see what was going on here 
Okay, so let's keep going around. I should have investigated that red glow because I have a feeling it was something important. And I don't know why I'm harvesting the spiky grass because it's not wheat, you know? Okay, so let's keep going here. I hear some enemies around. I don't know exactly where they're at, but I have a feeling, okay, there they are. Yeah, because I heard them wandering somewhere. And there's one. Oh my goodness, wow, that really, really hurt. Oh, I'm actually really surprised. I did not die right there, and I'm surprised I got a critical shot off as well. But we got somebody right in front of us trying to pay us a visit. Alright, so I'm not really good with the sword, so I'm just hoping I can take it down as quickly as possible. Which is really weird because I've always been a uh, one-handed or a sword type of person, but this time it is all the bow. Okay, what's this glow over here? Oh, this has to be something, right? Alright, here is the... No, no grass. Wheat. Okay, cool. So, all right, there is a... This looks really interesting. I like the way this wheat looks. I think it looks pretty cool. So now we have to gather quite a bit of wheat, I believe. And so what I did was uh, was gather a little bit of that. Then I came over here and was just looking all over, you know, just to make sure I don't miss anything. And I saw this uh, horse left front leg. So I grabbed it. And then that's when the Jorvan horse quest started. So that must be the mount that this creation club was referring to. And there are quite a lot of pieces to get here. And sorry if you heard that snort. My dog insisted on being in my lap during this video and was just snorting all over the place. So sorry about that if you heard that. All right. So pretty much from there, I just went in a circle and just started gathering a bunch of different types of wheat. It was just literally like in a path. If you go around the room like clockwise or even counter. Uh, clockwise it really doesn't matter you just start seeing all these different types of wheat I just started picking them and then I noticed there was a door at like the far end that just led down to this tunnel so I said you know what of course we got to go down here because we are an adventurer and we haven't taken an arrow to the knee just yet I was a little bit nervous about pulling that handle because once again we're in a Jorvan ruins which really scarred me for life I don't know if it was going to try to drop me through the floor or or arrows gonna shoot at me through the wall. I didn't really know what to expect here, but you know, we're gonna see what's going on here. And I'm only really trying to collect a few more things because my carry weight is getting pretty close to its max and I have a lot of stamina and that still doesn't really matter. So let's pull this handle and see what happens. Okay, so we didn't fall through the floor. Nothing fell from the ceiling, no rocks or anything like that. So let's see what's over here. Oh, cool. So. That is the first mask, and I believe there was four in total to find, and that leads me to believe I'm about to come back through here at a later time and find the rest of the mask, because tonight I was really focused on getting this done, and then I just uh, walked to the front where we came in, and I remember that red glow, thinking to myself, I should go see what it is, and of course, it's the wheat that we needed, and I just went up and gathered the rest. And while I was going through, I noticed there was another part of the horse that we need. So I gather that, and then once again, I was thinking to myself, oh boy, this area is so big, I'm going to have to go through again and probably look for the rest of the horse parts. But we are actually doing the main quest here first, and this is just like right when you first walk in down the stairs, you pretty much look straight ahead, and it's right there, the big door, and you just place everything in, I hope. I actually grabbed enough because I didn't know if there was like a minimum requirement, but as you can see, we place all the various types of wheats inside and the door opened up in front of us. Okay, I was making double sure that I didn't miss anything over here because this room is actually really big. I spent a lot of time exploring this whole area. As you can see, we simply disable that and here's another part of the horse, which is the head and a a bucket of gold and on the way out I saw another a uh, piece of the horse which was the second to the last that I need it so there's only one more left and that's why I decided to myself you know what let's just go back down go all the way through again and look for it and boom there it is it's pretty much like almost in the center and I was really glad that I did because okay that is like all of the horse parts now we're good to go so the time is here we've done a lot of work to get to this point and I believe this is where I saw that spider disappear through the door and I tried to go up there and of course you know these steps went up and I couldn't get up there but now I'm so excited to be here and see what is beyond this door okay so what is it 
it's not my companion, but okay, it's that spider. Okay, so I wasn't seeing things. I wasn't crazy when I first walked. I was like, I could have swore I seen a spider just go through the door. So there it is. All right, so, oh man, this this boy has a lot of health. And on top of that, it's a Jorvan one. So, and my arrows are not landing. Oh my goodness, my shooting has been so off tonight all night with arrows in this game. I swear, I've hit one shot out of four, make that two out of five. So I guess my average is getting a little bit better. And you know what? This spider is super fast. Okay, it's not being a backup because he saw me. I thought, honestly, being in sneak the entire time, it would not be able to see me. But I was sadly mistaken. And all right, there's a few ads. But you know what? We took care of it and we actually completed Forgotten Season. So all that's really left to do is claim our loot that dropped from the spider while my companion fights its summon that it... Okay. Sometimes, you know, Skyrim does some really interesting things along with your companions. But there is our gear, and the only thing left to do is put together our horse, which I'm really excited about. And let's see here. There is a book. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have to, like, read this book later off stream and see what's going on here. Because I do like reading the books. And if I was to read it to you guys, I'd probably be really slow. So it's better that you guys don't actually hear me read it to you. All right. So we're going to head into Skyrim here and see where our horse frame is and... That's pretty much it. Only thing I do is come back here and get the horse mask, which I'm pretty, ex or not the horse mask, but the mask, and I'm just pretty excited about that. I got the horse in my mind because I really want to see what it looks like all put together. And let's see. Oh, cool. It's just actually like right outside when you step. All right. Um, there's a frame. Let's activate it. And boom, there it is. Or there it was. It's what there? Oh, hey, there it is. Cool. All right, so that's a lot of work to get the horse. I do like the way it looks. And so we finally completed it. And I kind of want to give my two cents about this uh, Creation Club mod now. I feel like I had a really good time with this mod. I'm not going to lie because I found myself for the first time in quite a while making sure to look through every area, every room. I was looking at every corner to make sure I wasn't missing any things. I think the rooms were well put together, like even getting into the actual area that you needed to was a challenge and the only place that you know was a little bit lackluster was the winter place but everywhere else there was a lot of exploration to do uh mobs to fight and overall i really didn't have fun playing this uh mod but as far as the price is concerned i feel like it's a little bit steep i feel if it was half the price then it'd be def worth uh, definitely worth picking up you know just right out the gates but if you're looking for something to do and you have a little bit of extra cash to spare, I would highly recommend picking this up. But otherwise, if you don't, if you see it on sale, I highly recommend you grab it. And it makes me think, you know, what if they brought out mods like this on a monthly basis, but at a reduced price, let's say like five or 600 Todd bucks, I would definitely be buying them up because this one was really fun. And like just the idea of there being more mods like this in the future, you know, I, I know it's not a thing, but if it was, I would definitely be buying more. So that's my whole two cents on it. All right, guys, that is the end of Forgotten Seasons. I really want to thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me, and I really do hope you enjoy this journey with me. Also, if this is your first time visiting the channel and would like to see more Skyrim uh, Special Edition content, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It would mean a lot to me. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care.